is going on guys welcome back for another episode of rise of civilizations all right so this episode we're going to talk about which of the new three civilizations may be the best one for you you can pick whichever one you want this is going to be based on my opinion and what i probably will end up doing in the long run now i haven't switched to any civilizations of the new ones yet i'm still germany because i love germany i love the action points i love the troop training it doesn't take very long but i mean that just takes a toll after a while so after a while, it just becomes, eh, I don't think I need that anymore. But we're going to look at those three civilizations really quick here. Now, let's see. In case you guys are under a rock, our new civilizations are Arabia, Ottoman, and Byzantium. All right, so that's our three brand new civilizations. So we're going to go over the Arabia ones first. All right, so with these guys, they had their special... Damn, I wish this guy would shut up. <laughs> he talks too much. All right, so... With this uh, civilization, Arabia, they started commanders by bars. Uh, especially when it's going to be the main look. Uh, with this civilization, you can uh, increase cavalry attack by 5%. Damage dealt to barbarians and other neutral units by 10%. And damage dealt by rallied armies by 5%. So, so far, this civilization is getting two thumbs up for me. I think I'll maybe actually switch to this one, honestly. The next civilization is going to be the Ottomans which are pretty much the Turks. All right, so with these guys, the starting commander is Osman I, which I just got yes, uh, last episode, um, which was yesterday. Uh, we have the special unit, which is going to be the Janissary. All right, so with this uh, civilization, they have increased archer health by 5%, troop march B by 5%, active skill damage by 5%. Now, all three of those things are great, except for pretty much the archer um, health. Now, there's not really any viable... Or any really, really, really good archer commanders out there. I mean, you have archer commanders, but they're not really that good. Most people, they use either infantry or they're using cavalry. So this game is pretty much based on cavalry, 100%. I'm going to say about 70% cavalry. I don't know. 50%. Not even more than that. Like, maybe, I don't know, 20% infantry and 10% of the archers. Nobody uses archers. I don't know. I don't. Um, I use it for my attacks, which are pretty good, but nobody uses archers, honestly. All right, so the next civilization, guys, is going to be the Byzantium. All right, so starting commander is going to be Belisarius. Belisarius. Their special units going to be the Cataphract. All right, so with this commander, um, increased cavalry health by 5%, stone gathering speed by 10%, and hospital capacity by 15%. Now, that's pretty good. I honestly don't care about... Um, Cavalry health by 5%. Stone gathering speed is good. That's not bad at all. And hospital capacity is not bad at either. That's actually pretty good. So those are actually pretty, those are pretty um, sweet um, deals right there. Like, there's always a piece. If I can just take, like, maybe the stone gathering, hospital capacity, and then put the damage done by barbarians, that would be, the to me, for me, my personal game would be perfect for me. All right, so out of all three of these right now, looking at this, you know, optimistically, I would think, honestly, for me, in my opinion, the Arabias are the, actually the better ones. March speed is good, but I think I'm liking the uh, Arabia because I like the damage dealt to barbarians, which I do a lot of damage to barbarians, and I want to fight higher level barbarians so I can get more experience from them, and I can level my commanders a lot faster. So that's just what I'm liking right there. Now, I know when I first started the game, I was Korea. Loved it. Increased archer defense, which would not, that was kind of crappy. Hospital capacity by 15% and research speed by 3%. That was good. Korea was awesome. Love Korea. Never tried Japan. Never tried these other ones. Now, these other ones are pretty good too, but we're focusing on the three that we have right now. All right. So, and I was also looking on the, uh, looking for my expedition. I was like, oh my God, where's my expedition? I can't find them. Because I would always go to this screen and I never really read expedition on the left hand side. I just kept focusing on Ark of Osiris which is it's, it's pretty cool, but honestly, um, expeditions are pretty good. I got to get right back into my expeditions. So that's where your expeditions are. I know a lot of people probably freaked out besides myself. I'm not the only one. And there's your expeditions. All right, so of course we got the crappy commander of the week, which is going to be um, Pelagus, which I'm not saying he's crappy, but it's, that's, that's the underrated guy. That's not who I really wanted. They could have kept uh, either Boudicca or Joan of Arc or somebody else for the uh, week and I wish I would put like a legendary commander in there that would be pretty good but hopefully I don't know if this helps out for you guys as far as decision on which civilization that you will probably more than likely use 
but hopefully it does steer your um steer you in the right direction either way guys thanks so much for watching put your comments down below which one you guys are actually picking or are you guys picking with the traditional civilizations i don't know whichever works for you let me know let me know some key points on what you guys think either way like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you guys on the next video peace